Hey, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going over the Lunar Beauty collection, the nude prism collection. I'm so excited that I got to use this collection today. I have been waiting to use this one. It has been out for a little while and it's just been sitting on my shelf and I'm finally getting to it and I'm absolutely like so excited that I was able to play with this one today. So if you are excited to see how I got this look and what my thoughts are on this collection, then go ahead and keep watching. So it's been a while since I purchased this, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I completely forgot that in the bundle I got, you got a beauty blender. So I got this one and it is the Liquid and Powder Multiple Purpose Beauty Sponge. I got the entire bundle, so I got the eye palette, the cheek palette or the blush palette and then the lip oils so it looks like a little egg one which is really nice for like up under here i love his sponges between lunar beauties and sonia kashik i absolutely love those sponges the most like they're just the softest and nicest sponges you could own so it comes like this all open and or all wrapped it's not open and then you get obviously this which tells me the price what it's called and just a cute little this is always so beautiful every single time just look at her glowing skin as always the prices will be across the screen and anything i use if i don't mention it will be listed in the description so it comes with three different oils in three different shades and you have expose me kiss me and dare me we're gonna open them because i'm actually gonna put these on my lips while i'm doing my makeup so this is the unicarton for the lip oil it is the pinky iridescent color it's just the same um texture and everything it's just a pinky color instead of white but it's hard to see with the lights and then this is actually the component it's a little more pink than it's coming off on camera i'm seeing that it's a little bit more mauve -y there it is mauve for sure but it has like a lighter pink tone to it when it's not on camera like looking at this it's like a pinky purple color so this one is expose me and this is the clear one i'm not gonna swatch this i'll probably just put it here oh oh my god oh I like that a lot. I love lip oils. Oh, I love that so much. It's not thick like a lip gloss, so I like to put oils on my lips while I'm like doing my makeup and stuff, just because it keeps my lips hydrated throughout the application process. And when I'm filming, I'm obviously always talking, so my lips and stuff tend to get dry. It smells like strawberries. That's actually, it smells really good. It's not as sweet as the lip gloss scent. So I kind of love this scent. And then this one is Kiss Me. It's got these little pink balls in it. Is it supposed to have that? Oh, I don't know that it was mixed up all the way. Or maybe it's supposed to. I don't know. I'll have to look into that, but I don't know if you'll be able to catch it on camera, but it has like hot pink little balls in here. So I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or if it just wasn't mixed correctly but that is the color it's just a very light pink and to be honest they're all gonna come off clear it's a lip oil it'll give a little tint but it's not gonna be anything crazy and then this one is dare me which is an even lighter pink than the other one do they all smell the same let me see oh i think they all smell different let me look online so let me show you this one first but it's just a very light 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 pink again it's gonna come off extremely clear so you have the clear the super light pink and then you have the hotter pink okay so kiss me is a watermelon scented lip oil that hot pink one is kiss me and it's watermelon scented and then Dare Me, which is that peachy light pink one, is a peach lip oil. And then Expose Me is the clear one, and it's mango. I knew they smelled different, and I just wanted to make sure I wasn't crazy. They do smell different. They all smell really nice, and it looks really nice. Honestly, on my lips, I could wear this by itself. Um, most of the time, I probably will wear it by itself, but you can also wear these over lipstick, which I'm going to try towards the end once we apply the lipstick and all of that. So this so. is the blush palette and then this one is the eyeshadow palette look at that oh my god that's so pretty his ugh, design and packaging is always on point never ever does lunar beauty let me down with their packaging like this is just it's top tier okay it's absolutely top tier compared to some of this higher end expensive ass brands like just ugh, 
so nice. Oh, here we are. Oh my god. I know what you're thinking, Jamie. It's another nude palette. Yes, it is. But let me tell you why I'm so excited for this one versus like the Kylie nude palette I just reviewed because there's so much depth and texture difference in here. So the Kylie one's all 18 shades matte and like they were just kind of random where this one really tells like a story but you also have shimmers you also have mattes and you have some pretty good deep tone ones like you have black chocolate i mean they have different names but you have black chocolate like a um burgundy a deep burgundy color and then you have obviously the classic transition colors we have some pink tones down here so i really really like this palette like legitimately, this is absolutely gorgeous. So this is the blush palette. Before I get into the blush palette, there are two palettes I am super like obsessed with and I always use. They are my favorite in my whole collection. That's the Jacqueline Rouge blush palette, which is un unfortunately moved to my top tier. Like that's my number one. But then there is the Lunar Beauty Prism palette and I think it's called the Prism Blush Palette. I don't remember, but it's his original pa blush palette and it's actually like one of my favorite palettes. It's so gorgeous. I actually like this unicart more because I love that blue purple mixing in with the cherry blossom pink. We have six shades and he always comes through with the shade because you have the dark shades and then you have super light shades. Sometimes I can't really use these but these are like shimmery so they're really nice to either put like as a transition or just use as an eyeshadow but like this one I probably would not be able to use. However I love when they make inclusive palette like not everyone wants them because it's like oh well, I can't use these or I can't use these but it really shows how a brand cares about everybody and everyone's different skin tones and undertones and choices so I think that something like this is really fantastic because you do have these super dark colors which I use and I am not super dark but I still use them just use them with a light hand because his palettes are really pigmented so you don't want to go crazy and then be like oh crap what the fuck did I do so I don't know if anyone has done this yet but I'm gonna show you guys the difference between the nude prism and the moon prism um, just for clarification purposes because some people might look at them and go oh they kind of look the same but they are not <laughs> on the top is the new one which is the um, nude prism and on the bottom is the moon prism which is one of my favorite palettes this is my favorite color to use and then twilight and stargaze I don't really use these too much because like I said they are a little bit darker but I could probably use this one as like a bronzer and I just noticed that but this one is the new one so they are extremely different I know I saw some people go oh that kind of looks like his first one but if you really look at it compared side by side it's not so the first color I'm gonna go into is gonna be cherry blossom which is this pretty little pink here and I'm gonna put that on the crease of my eye and blend up there is a little bit of fallout so just to let you know that And oof, that's not doing what I thought it was going to do. I think because my P. Louise is so dark, because my skin tone is tan, it's not really showing up. Alright, so I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into Milk Tea, which is right here. Kind of more mauve, definitely more mauve. I wonder if I could mix the two together. Same technique different color and hopefully I can get a little color on there it might just be a palette that I have to do like a white base for for those really light colors to make them pop also if you see my eyes like flaking please ignore them it's not the palette drying my eyes out it's just because my eyes are super dry during this time of the year so I'm trying to really get a lot of that color nothing is happening like it just looks like a transition color okay so milk tea off the table yeah nothing okay so we're gonna try to go into a different color i just that makes me really sad because i really wanted to do like a pinky look mm. okay i'm gonna try to go into vibes vibes is right here it's a little bit darker of a shade but it has pink undertones to it i'm gonna try to see if that works out what the fuck does anyone are you see does anyone anything what is happening i'm gonna go into sakura sakura and i'm gonna place that so we're right back to doing another brown nudie color Yay! All right. okay so that one's that one's starting to do a little something. Got a darker color in here. I just wish, like, I get it. Like, my skin tone 
is tan but like I don't feel like my skin is dark enough for me to not be able to use one two three four five colors in a palette you could also what I might do next time is do a white base just so instead of being my skin tone color it's super light and then it'll make those colors pop when you look in the pan that sakura sakura i don't know if i'm pronouncing that wrong i'm so sorry does look like a terracotta but when blended out it actually does have a pinky mauve undertone so i'm gonna be able to do that pinky look anyways and now i'm gonna go in with that same cherry blossom that i couldn't get to like really show up too much and i'm gonna put it here again like i said it was sh i could see it in my mirror you guys just could not it the camera was not picking that color up the way that i wanted it to and i'm just taking cherry blossom on kind of a tapered blending brush and i am working that at the top to make it look a little more blended and right under those brows right, so now that i've taken the cherry blossom and kind of blended that out i'm gonna go in with bloom for you because it's like that this is like a plumbing color and i know it's gonna be so gorgeous on that outer corner blend it out so first i'm gonna go into bloom for you and just place it on the outer corner I'm just gonna place it in here, pack it on in, and then I'll worry about blending it out in a minute. You see how I'm doing that? Just packing it in. Now I'm gonna take a fluffy blendy brush. Um, it'll be this one. And I'm not gonna put anything on this one yet, and I'm just gonna kind of buffer this dark bloom in you. Bloom, bloom for you. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna just diffuse bloom for you out and up out or in and up sorry in and up so it's not too too dark anywhere really but that outer corner because I want that depth to be really still focused there I'm not adding any color if that makes sense everything I've placed is what I'm using I'm just trying to diffuse that color a little bit but i am trying to keep everything kind of rounded here too so i don't want it to wing out i just want it to kind of be rounded a little now i'm gonna take cherry blossom again that light pink and i'm going to try to diffuse the top parts of that to get it to be a little bit lighter around the edges wow this is actually really really vibrant pink like off camera i'll put a video over this so you guys can see like beyond the lights that you're looking at this is like super like the pink is like there it's very purple-esque like i'm actually extremely obsessed with this look right now so now i think i'm gonna go on with my fingers with these shimmers because i just feel like that's just gonna be the best way to do it and i'm either gonna go on with sam or laura these two right here, I don't know which one yet. Oh my, they're like foils. What are those? Okay, so it doesn't say, but basically I think they're like foils. Like they, look at those, holy moly. All right, so that one's Laura and that one is Sam, which I'm gonna be going with Sam. It's just a little bit more pink. But what? I'm gonna swatch the other one so you guys can see those. So icy is blinding. So we have So icy. And then we have your golden and then right here is exposed and this one is star crossed they are so pretty i'm gonna go with sam on my fingers and just dab it towards the inner corner but basically focusing it right here on the lid that is so pretty you know what i know what i'm gonna do i know the best way to apply this shit. okay so i'm gonna go in with my mac 239s when i tell you guys this is the best for like these kind of foil shadows i'm gonna spritz it with my continuous setting mist so it's a little bit damp i don't want it soaking wet but a little bit damp won't hurt it and then i'm gonna go pick up sam oh my god i knew that getting it wet was gonna be the trick oh i'm excited oh my it literally does look like i just have pink foil on my lids it's so pretty. Oh, colors, pretty colors. 
I love that. So yes, um, finger is nice if you're doing like the two step where you just put kind of like a mat and move on and just put this over like a topper. Finger is going to be great. But if you're looking for like that foil, that most pigment foil effect out of this, you're going to want to wet your brush. It doesn't have to be with a setting spray. I just prefer it that way. And you're going to want to do it that way because whoa that looks so good had i done a cut crease and actually put that concealer or primer down this would be out of this fucking world like this looks so good it's so shiny so now i'm gonna go in with a super fluffy blendy brush little fluffy one and i'm gonna go into a little bit of bloom for you just a smidge and just a little bit of the sakura just a smidge i, I double dipped and I'm going to kind of keep it right here between the shimmer and that dark purple, which is the bloom for you. And bring it up slightly over the shimmer just to blend. Like you just want to go slightly over it so there's no like harsh crease because I'm not doing like a cut crease. If this were a cut crease moment, then you could totally do that and it would be fine. I am going to go put on the rest of my face makeup and then we're going to come back and we will work on using the blush and all of that jazz. All right, so I put on all of my complexion products except for my blush and highlighter. And I also put on my lashes and I'm just sealing that in. I put on like these one lashes and they were super huge and I wanted up like not looking really good. And I did use the Lunar Beauty Outer Dimensions palette for my face because I just figured that would be fitting. So we're going to go back into our eyes first, that quick little under eye situation that we do. And then we will move on to the blush palette. I think I'm going to line it with the Sakura and then I'm going to blend it out with Cherry Blossom. I might put a little bit of that bloom for you towards the outer corner. So let's see. Kind of placing this. I'm not really blending this brown out. I'm just placing it here. That, oh, that looks so good. This look turned out really nice. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm gonna go with a kind of tapered blending brush into Cherry Blossom, which is that light pink again. And I'm just gonna blend it out. So it has that same purpley effect. So I'm just gonna take a very, very small pencil brush and go into Bloom For You, which is that dark plum color, and just lightly Put a little back here on the outer corner. Just a little and then I'll blend it in a second. I'm just going to blend it out a little bit. When I do that, that little bit of dark purple, it brings that loop around. So now my eyes look like snatched instead of just having the dark up here and it light. It all blends together and kind of closes it off, which is what I want. But now I want to go into my inner corner. So I was going to just kind of bring that Sam color down, but I think I'm going to go into Laura. I'm going to go into Laura, which is just another kind of shade of pink, but it's a little bit lighter. It has a little bit more, I want to say, I don't know if it's like silver or what, but it's a little bit less pink. I mean, blending it with these pinks kind of makes it look just like Sam. So I probably should have just went into Sam. Or like Ice So Icy probably would have been a good one too. So we're done with the eyes except for I think I'm going to go in with a brown liner and just line my waterline with it. Just to give it more of a look at that. Look. It just looks. You know what I mean? Like oh, sometimes I like it a little bit more open so I will put a cream liner. But when I do like these purpley plummy looks I like to just seal it up so since i've been like talking and drinking my water and stuff throughout filming it definitely the lip oil i feel like has worn off the shine of it but the feel of it like it still feels like i have like lip balm or something on and it feels really nice so it's not glossy so i can put my lip liner and my lipstick on but it still feels very nourishing like my lips don't feel dry and usually by the time i get to this point with all the powder and the foundations that touch my lips like they just get so dry. So let's go into this nude prism blush, which is the second amazing part of this collection. What are we gonna... I'm thinking mauve because I'm very like neutral tone. I'm very like mauve -y. I'm very pinky brown. So we're gonna go... We're gonna go with the pink prince, which is a mauve color. So I'm gonna go into this one, which is pink prince. I can't wait to use kawaii and blaze. Because those are beautiful. We're gonna just dip. Again, these are very 
pigmented so you need to just just a little bit goes a long way like if you look I just barely dabbed and now my face is covered look at that that looks so good I'm telling you just need to dab it a little bit you look at these palettes when I show you them and I'm like oh it's my favorite and it looks like it's barely been touched because his formula is so good I literally just have to dab it a little bit and it gives off look at that so much pigment if you go in here and like this you're gonna wind up it's gonna be a little it's gonna be a much so if you like blush like that like I do I mean it wouldn't be a problem if you're a little bit like you don't really like a lot of blush I do highly suggest you just lightly lightly put it on there so I am gonna take this brush though and I'm gonna dip into blaze just a couple dips and try to show you guys. I guess I should do it on my arm. I want you guys to be able to see these. So I'm going to just do a little few dips on the blaze and let you see that color. So these are kind of like the shade range. You have the orange one, which is blaze. Kawaii, which is the pink one. This one is beautiful. And then peachy and Zeze, which are too light for my skin tone, obviously. So you can't see them like I'm not surprised that the blush was good because like I told you guys my favorite blush palette or one of my favorite is the moon prism one so I'm not surprised at all that I absolutely fell in love with that one like at all last thing we're gonna do is go with that lip oil just to see kind of like I'm kind of like mm, because I wanted this to be matte but I'm just like let's see what it's like over a lipstick oh it's actually not terrible I thought it was gonna make it like super icky oh I like that this smells so good I'm gonna wipe the wand off because I don't want it brown in here so I like it I think it feels nice but the only thing is if I want a matte liquid lipstick I don't want to put a lip oil over it so it is definitely possible to do that but usually when you do like a liquid lipstick your intention is to be matte and not be glossy so i like it and it doesn't make it feel like like a lip gloss like it did make it feel more like a satin so it was glossy but it wasn't moving around um but i prefer the lip oil by itself so now that we are done the whole look is done my hair is a mess whatever the whole look is done I'm gonna go through and tell you my final thoughts on each product so first things first I'll get out of the way I guess because it's the easiest this is a lip oil it's it, to me it's better than a lip gloss because I don't care to wear like sticky lip glosses to bed or if I'm going like to the pool or anywhere that like a lot of stuff can stick to my lips if they're sticky if you will so I love that he came out with a lip oil because I can this is definitely something as I was feeling it and it was like feeling feeling really nourishing is something that I could probably wear to bed something I could wear if I'm just like up and I just need some kind of like moisture so I'll probably toss one in my work desk in my purse and then up here obviously in my room I love that I got three so I will probably be ordering some more of those so the next thing I have is the palette I love the palette I'm obviously gonna keep the palette I'm gonna use this palette I think that it's very versatile it has lots of nudes it is a lot warm tone so there's not really a cool tone I think like we had a cool tone situation happen here and that's about all that went down um, but the depth that you're able to create the different textures in this palette are really kind of what set this palette aside these I think you're gonna be able to get a lot of beautiful like brown and warm and pink tones the only thing I would say that was kind of a miss for me are these lighter colors right here I really had a hard time getting to show up on my natural skin tone so yes of course I can use a white base which will make those brighter but essentially I just don't like using a white base so I may never actually get the benefit of these beautiful colors but the light pink one mixed with like the darker one kind of gave me the vibe I was looking for so it turned out really good my favorite part of this palette are the foils they are stunning they are beautiful and they showed up so well there was not a ton of glitter fallout so like these once they're warm they're kind of really really manageable to put on with fingers whatever without a shit ton of fallout because they're not glitter they're not chunky so they kind of just like melt down flat but I think that this is definitely a must-have in your collection especially if you love doing nude beautiful pinky looks like I do it is my color it is my jam like this eye look is something I wear all of the time like I just love pinky purple eye looks and this palette just it gives everything to me I think you would definitely love it if you got it as well and then this 
Hey, this was my favorite. Um, it's always gonna be my favorite. I am a blush fanatic, okay? And this is so gorgeous. The formula spot on. Again, a very pigmented formula where you only need very little to go a long way. And then the different color ranges I'm here for. There's two colors in each color range I feel versus doing like a two pan or duo. So I definitely think that you'll like anything that you get from this collection. I don't think anything was bad. There were a few things that I would change to my personal preference, but obviously no company is going to do that. That's a personal preference for a reason. Um, but I don't think you'd be disappointed in any of it if you guys haven't bought it it may be something you want to look into i love it i love it i love it it turned out so pretty but i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this look i came up with let me know down below if you got this collection because like i said it has been out for quite a while so if you got this collection let me know down below what your thoughts are on it what was your favorite thing if you chose not to buy it let me know why i hope you did enjoy this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up for me if you're new here, hi, I'm Jamie B. Make sure you subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on my videos. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.